Hello everyone, this is Food Poison from MGS and welcome back to another episode of Sunday with Food Poison. And yeah, uh, let me explain why this looks a little weird right now. And um, I've gotten I've gotten a couple of questions about how I use face rig and how I use this software and implement it into my recordings. Um, how do I have it into my corner with like with just a face and stuff like that? And yeah, today I thought maybe I'll try to kind of unravel those mysteries and not not exactly too technical but kind of it, it gets it does get kind of confusing if you're not too familiar with the software and that's understandable so today I'll teach you guys how to do it it might be very useful to you guys if you guys are willing to use webcams uh, in, later in the future and willing to use OBS also now let me tell you which ones those what, what those are um, first you'll need two things uh, obviously, face rig the the software itself. Um, if you have Steam, you guys might have or you guys can search it up. Uh, it's I think it's around fifteen dollars. Uh, it's it's a very very nice software, very uh, CPU consuming. If you guys are willing to do a gameplay or stream along with it, so keep in mind that it does take a lot of your CPU. And let's see, and another thing that you need is OBS, Open Broadcast. Broad casting software and this is completely free by the way I believe also maybe open source so if you guys are if you guys are like uh, programmers out there and kind of want to mess with it maybe you guys can and yeah the, uh, the program has been very nice to me and I've I honestly haven't tried too many other softwares before um, but this is completely free and I think it does the job pretty well so I've been using it like for the longest time ever since I started and yeah, let's kind of kind of get in. Um, if you guys are not too familiar with the whole interface of FaceRig, uh, this is what, how you might have started. And what you have to do is, well, I have the lip sync on just because uh, I don't really move my mouth too much when I speak, and uh, the lip the lip sync does a pretty good job on kind of showing how my mouth moves um, it's not perfect but it makes it more realistic and but anyways let's keep going and it, what you will need to do for sure is toggle broadcast now what toggle broadcast does that is it actually makes the the whole program go out as an output and for for you to also do that is you need or for you to do that you'll also need a driver a face rig cam driver and if you don't have a face rig cam driver, you might either have to update your face rig um, or you might have to go to the Steam folder in your face rig and install the driver according to your uh, your operating system bits. It could be like 32 or 64. But anyways, um, that those must be set so that you can use it with the broadcasting uh, with the broadcasting feature. And the obviously the toggle tracking is there. And another thing is that if you go to the environments, now how do I get here? You have to switch from the UI plus, which is the advanced UI, and you will have to go to environments. Now in the environments, you will see there are a lot of things. You probably started out with the forest. And now what I'm using at the moment is this screen <laughs> now why the screen while well, I have a green screen I'll have to explain that a little later but if you go to this screen then you'll see that I'm just gonna speak like this cuz like then you'll see that there is uh, uh, where was it uh, not, not, po not post processing if you go to customization and if you go to backdrop you'll see that there is some colors that you can add now this is just for background tinting and because the screen is supposed to be completely white in the back and I use a tint, it simply becomes that color. And I use blue. Now I know that if you guys are kind of familiar with the uh, concept of green screening, you guys might wonder why do you use blue instead of green. And the reason for that is you'll also, well reason for that is the exact reason why I don't use the green screen. Um, yeah, and if you guys, I mean, I know that the name is green screen. If you guys know what the effect does, is that if you'll go to like, like a movie set or something like that, you'll see green screens everywhere. A lot of people use green screens also to do their streaming and everything. But green screens allow you to uh, kind of do whatever in the front, and everything that is green will kind of get taken out. 
And obviously in my case, I can use green screen because my eyes right here and my scarf over here, those are green. And I will look like a beheaded animal if I use a green screen. <laughs> so I cannot use a green screen. But um, OBS does this really nice thing that allows me to use any other color. So in my case, I will be using a blue screen. I know that, I mean, this can, this can be anything that you use. So yeah. And this makes it actually pretty simple for me to do it here instead of real life because if I'm doing it in the real life, I will actually need a physical green screen or physical something screen that, uh, that is of a solid rare color that can just get filtered out of the whole input. But anyways, let's get to the OBS. That is pretty much the setting I have for the face rig. And let's, I'm just gonna drag OBS right here. This is gonna get a little trippy as you can see. Woo! Alright, and... What I'm going to do at this moment is I'm just going to minimize this right there. Boop. Okay. And let's see. You'll see that there's a bunch of sources down here. Um, I obviously use a lot of them. Um, some of them I've been using for my streaming purposes, but I don't do those at the moment. So you guys will see like break. Hey, I'm taking a break. Or like, hey, I'm taking a bathroom break. Or I'm waiting for a friend. I mean, stuff like that. But anyways, um, what I'm doing right now is a monitor capture. It captures this whole monitor. Um, <laughs> the monitor that I'm using right now. It captures the whole monitor. And what I'm going to do extra is that I am going to do something called face rig cam. And now what this is really is yeah, you would have to add. And this is what this is just a video capture device. And a video capture device is just a input of any kind of visual video capture. May it be from a capture card or a webcam. And from this, I just named it face rig cam and we'll just go into the properties here. And in the properties, you'll see that it is using the face rig virtual camera. Now, I have to remind you that you have to get the virtual camera driver in order to get this to show here, or else it's just going to show your webcam, which is my, my Logitech webcam at the moment. And let's see here. If I just activate the face cam right... Oh, no, never mind. Not yet. If I activate the face cam rig right here, oop, it shows me. But what you will see before this is probably it will be centered... And it will probably be not using a chroma key. Now, what is a chroma key? You'll see that I am like this now. Um, what is a chroma key? Well, chroma key is what makes the green screen really effective. It goes with it complements the green screen in order to make the transparency happen. And I'll show you guys how to use it. Um, let's see. And if you, you what you have to do is you have to go to the property and just click on chroma key, and at first, it will probably not do that at all. Actually, You'll, it might have it might have a green, it might have a white in there. But what I'm gonna have to do is select, and you have to click anywhere within OBS to select the color that is going to make it transparent. Now, what I'm gonna make transparent is right here, the blue, and boop, there we go. Now, this only affects the whole screen inside this little red square. Uh, which indicates that this is the input that is coming from the face rig virtual camera and it will not affect anything else so yeah just keep that in mind and now I'll just kind of show you just as an example if I were to use some kind of green screen maybe around uh, maybe I can use color yeah there we go and maybe if I use like a green screen right here right and we'll be like boop and it doesn't really do anything right because well it's Huh, that's really weird. I, I thought it might get a bit of my uh, scarf and everything. Because last time I used the green screen, it actually did. Which is like kind of like this. Boom, there we go. Alright. And that's a little weird. <laughs> and I can't do that. So, I'll have to do blue. Anyways, uh, so that is pretty much how you get the chroma key to work. And you will have to blend it after that. It might be in zeros or something else. But you'll notice the difference if I start going up. Now I can, this is blend enough, but why don't I do it in 110 is because I have this outline, this random blue outline that you might see, right? And in this outline, what I'll have to do to get rid of it is to blend everything that is next to me into the background, which is probably, which is, which is in, in my, uh, in my setting around 500. 
ooh, that actually just kind of closed it off. But if you do 500, it will not make me look like a ghost, as well as it will not have an outline. Now this number could be probably different if you, if you do, if you use something else. But um, yeah, for an example, for example, I'll show you how it is where it gets higher. I just started like becoming very trans, transparent, and I become a ghost. So don't want that. Don't want that at all. Oops, not not 100, 500. And that is the that is the setting or that is the property size. And what you will have to do is you have to edit the scenes because it is still in the middle. You can make it bigger or smaller. That is completely up to you. And that it will it will kind of snap into the corner if you bring it down the corner. Or if you want to crop off some more, then you can just like go through. And yeah, there's a lot of settings that you can try out with OBS. I Definitely recommend you try like many different things in any kind of technology that you do because you'll find so many things You'll be surprised what you find and yeah, um, you stop the edit scene Right there And there it is. Um, that is me doing stuff in a monitor in the corner <laughs> But yeah, um, I hope that this really helped guys um, And you might it might you might not be doing any face rig like in the corner videos but i'm sure that this knowledge could help you guys along the way if you guys are willing to do something along the line of uh, video making or something like that so yeah i hope, really hope that you guys learn from this i hope that it was helpful and with that note i'm just gonna I, i'll have to stop here um if you guys like the video please leave a like subscribe if you guys haven't already or if you uh or if it's your first time here it really helps me out when you guys do that and yeah, share the video with all your YouTuber friends out there because, hey, this could help. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video once again. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.